all transverse waves, including water waves, waves that propagate through strings and cords, as well as electromagnetic waves, such as light waves, undergo a process known as polarization. Now, before we examine polarization, let's define a concept known as plain polarized wave. So let's examine diagram one and diagram two. So in diagram one, we take a string or a cord and we pull on it along the y axis. So we create a wave that oscillates along the y axis and propagates to the right along the x axis. Now, if we take a vertical slit and we place that vertical slit right in front of our wave, what exactly will take place? Well, because the orientation of the slit of our opening lies along the same axis as the oscillation of the wave, when the wave hits the following opening, the entire wave will be transmitted. On the other hand, let's examine diagram two. So in diagram two, we take our string or cord and now we oscillate it along the Z axis. So as it moves to the right, it oscillates along the Z axis out of the board and into the board and so on. Now if we take the same exact vertical slit and we place it in front of it because the orientation of the vertical slit is perpendicular to the oscillation of our wave, none of the wave is actually transmitted when it hits the following slit. However, if we take this vertical slit and place it horizontally, then the orientations coincide, the oscillations will oscillate along the same orientation as the opening, and the entire wave is once again transmitted. So these two waves are examples of plane polarized waves. A plane polarized wave is a wave that oscillates along a single plane, along a single direction. In this case, it was along the Y plane, and in this case, it was along the Z plane, along the Z axis. Now, most of the waves that are produced, for example, light waves, come out from the source as being unpolarized. So unpolarized light, for example, consists of electric fields that oscillate along many different planes. So for simplification purposes in this lecture, when we discuss light waves, we're only going to consider the oscillating electric fields. But you should know that light consists of not only oscillating electric fields, but oscillating magnetic fields as well. So, this is one example of a light wave that is unpolarized. It contains electric fields that are oscillating along different axes, along different planes. Now, the process of transforming an unpolarized wave into a polarized wave is known as polarization and a device that is used is known as the polarizer. So, a device called a polarizer, which is usually a Polaroid sheet, can be used to convert on polarized light into plain polarized light. So how exactly does that work? So this is our example of a Polaroid sheet, which is basically our polarizer. So a Polaroid sheet consists of molecules arranged in columns that are parallel with respect to one another. The empty space between any two adjacent columns basically acts to allow the light with only a certain specific orientation to pass through in the same way that we discussed in diagram one and diagram two. Now all other light with electric fields that do not have the same proper orientation, those light waves are absorbed. In this way, unpolarized light is transformed into plain polarized light. So let's examine the following illustration, which basically tells us what is taking place. So we have the following light wave, which is in its unpolarized form on the, on the left side, and it's propagating to the right. Eventually, it hits the following vertical Polaroid sheet, 
and only a certain orientation of the light is basically transmitted. In this case, our transmission axis lies along the y-axis, so that means the electric fields lie along the y-axis as well. Those light waves with electric fields that point along the same axis as the transmission axis are basically transmitted. So once again, a vertical Polaroid sheet will only transmit light that oscillates along the vertical plane. A transmission axis of the Polaroid sheet is the axis along which the electric field passes. Now, an important point must be made about this discussion. So, this is one way to think about what takes place within a Polaroid sheet. This basically helps us visualize what takes place. However, what actually takes place on the molecular level will be discussed in just a moment. But first, let's state the following important fact. The transmission axis of any Polaroid sheet of any polarizer is always perpendicular with respect to the orientation of the column of molecules. So in this case, if our transmission axis lies along the y-axis, then that basically means our molecules, the columns, will lie along the z-axis. They will be perpendicular with respect to one another and that's because of the following facts. So now let's discuss what takes place between the electric fields and the molecules on the molecular level. Let's begin with diagram A. Let's suppose this is our column of molecules that are arranged along the following vertical y-axis. So we have essentially the following electric field that oscillates parallel with respect to the following column. So it oscillates along the same axis as this column. So what happens when the electric field collides with our column? of molecules. So because these oscillations, these electric fields are parallel with respect to our molecules, those electric fields will be absorbed and they will essentially cause these molecules to vibrate, to oscillate up and down. And so our entire light wave will be absorbed. So once again, electric fields that are parallel to the long columns of molecules cause the molecules to oscillate along that same axis, thereby transferring all that energy stored in the electric field and those waves are absorbed by the molecules. Now, on the other hand, let's examine diagram B. So, in diagram B, we have our electric fields that are oscillating along the z-axis, which is perpendicular to the axis along which our molecules lie on. Because they are perpendicular when they collide with our column of molecules, they will not cause the molecules to oscillate and none of the energy is transferred and so the entire wave that consists of our electric fields will be transmitted. So once again, electric field E that is perpendicular to the column are not absorbed because they have no way of causing the molecules to oscillate. So, once again, the electric field that is oriented perpendicular with respect to our column of molecules within our polarized shield are the electric fields that will pass through. And these electric fields are along the same axis as the transmission axis, which is perpendicular with respect to the column of molecules.